It's the 2021 Greater Victoria Chamber Business Awards on Check. Brought to you by Big Wheel Burger, Mappet Projects, and Coastal Community Credit Union. Good evening. Welcome to the 2021 Greater Victoria Chamber of Commerce Business Awards. I'm Bruce Williams, and I'm the CEO of the Chamber. And I'm John Wilson, Chamber Board Chair and the President CEO of the Wilson's Group of Companies. It's been a while since I've seen you in person, John. This has been quite a year. You can say that again, Bruce. This year really was like no other. And you know, we're really fortunate to live in a community that supports one another. As a business owner, I can tell you, we appreciate that support. So thank you to everyone. Brighter days are ahead, and we can't wait to see you in person. Tonight, you'll see examples of the extraordinary work being done by businesses as we pivot and turn challenges into opportunities. We're in the home stretch, so let's all continue to work together as we bounce forward into economic recovery. So now, let's get the show on the road. Please welcome our Master of Ceremonies for this evening's show, Czech TV's Stacy Ross. Take it away, Stacy. Bruce, John, thank you so much. I am so happy to be here with you tonight. Can you believe it's been a year since we were in this very similar situation? And honestly, guys, I don't know about you, but this past year and however many months, half of me has been like, I'm not gonna back down. I'm gonna stand up to this COVID thing and power right through it. The other half is like, eh, well, I might as well just roll with the flow. For example, last year at this time, I was wearing these bad boys. This year, these. Mm -hmm. And you know, I used to, when I used to come to work, I used to wear, you know, like the business attire and the nice suits and sometimes even nylons. Well, up until about three minutes ago, I was wearing these. But you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. So wherever you are tonight, wherever you're tuning in and whether you're wearing your tuxedo and your finest gown or whether you're wearing your PJs and leggings and sweatpants, it doesn't matter because we're here to celebrate you businesses that have not only survived this year, you have thrived this year. So everybody, wherever you are, raise your glass as we toast tonight 26 outstanding businesses and business leaders and celebrate the amazing talent we have across this region. Region. Now you have all shown leadership and a drive to succeed during an exceptionally difficult time. So thank you for not only surviving and thriving. Congratulations and cheers to each and every one of you as we celebrate you tonight at the Greater Victoria Business Awards. Up next, the Community Builder and New Business Awards. Closed captioning of the Chamber Awards are brought to you by Park Retirement Living. Retirement Living Redefined. I'm Adrian Lagan, CEO of Coastal Community Credit Union. We value the relationships we have with our members and clients and our community. That's why our involvement with the Chamber is so important to us. Working together, we can accomplish incredible things. Now, to the finalists in this year's awards, outstanding work making it through this past year. Congratulations on a job well done and continued success to you all. Building communities is what Napit Projects is all about. I'm John Napit, President. We're a leading supplier of construction services on Vancouver Island. All the businesses celebrated this evening are also part of building our community, providing products, services, and employment right here in our own neighborhoods. Congratulations to all the finalists for your fine efforts. Napit Projects salutes you all. Hi, I'm Kaylin McNeil of Big Wheel Burger. The perfect burger has the right balance of toppings, bun, and protein. The Victoria Chamber of Commerce brings the right balance of support and services to the business community in our city. Tonight, we celebrate the excellence of entrepreneurs right here in our hometown. On behalf of our staff and amazing customers, I want to congratulate all the winners and finalists. And thank you to everyone in our community for continued support of local business. The world is changing rapidly. Be in the know for live updates as they happen, when they happen, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check has the info you need to know. Because, because we're, we're in this together. together.
All right, our first order of business, the Community Builder Award. This honors a business that shows commitment to building a diverse, inclusive, and balanced community and makes a sustainable impact in the region. The finalists for the Community Builder Award are Accent Inns Inc. and Imagine Studio Cafe. Accent Inns is a family-owned business and uh, we've grown to include five locations around BC and also Hotel Z here in Victoria, Kelowna and Tofino. So a year ago, I really thought I was going to lose my family's third generation business. And so we asked ourselves, if we're going to go down, how do we want to go down? And we decided we wanted to go down with our heads held high. And uh, we partnered with the United Way in order to raise money for essential frontline uh, workers who needed a safe place to stay. It was an extremely emotional time because my first priority was keeping the team safe. And then once we started realizing that we could keep them safe and we could keep our customers safe as well, we realized that doing good felt great. Without a doubt, the best thing about Accent Inns is the team. I'm fiercely proud of every single person who really puts their heart and soul into their work here at Accent Inns. Dorothy's kind of goal with it was to create a place where youth and um, people with like different abilities and people that have had barriers to employment can come and gain skills to start a career. It is definitely really rewarding. You know, you're doing something with your life and you're moving forward, but then especially like, like getting to train other people was really rewarding. I've been a uh, barista training here three times. I need one more to do my final training, that's it. It's a great spot here. I've been here almost six years. We've all like learned a lot throughout COVID and all of our regulars are, you know, like still coming and supporting. And so we've ended up expanding a lot to try to like make sure that we're still doing well. It was really nice at first because um, I guess a lot of places weren't open and we'd have people coming in and like, oh, thank you so much for being here. Like, I, I appreciate you being here and things like that. It's definitely been a great place for me. Like I've gotten to have a lot of new experiences that I didn't have before. On behalf of Coast Capital Savings, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Community Builder Award is Accent Inns. Congratulations. Congratulations. Next, we will present the New Business Award. Now, this one honors a new business that has been in operation for three years or less, and what a three years it's been, that is achieving outstanding business performance in a very short period of time, demonstrates exceptional promise for continued growth, and serves as inspiration for other new businesses. The finalists for the New Business Award are Dumpling Drop and Pilot House Digital. Drop is a small business that I'm running with my mom. Um, a couple years ago, my mom got diagnosed with um, early onset Alzheimer. We were talking about with my doctor about, hey, you know, like, like what what bring her good memory? Like what 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 make her happy? So every Friday we start rolling dumplings to me and her. Friday afternoon, couple hour, and that's how Dumpling Drop got its start. But before COVID, we were doing about 25 deliveries so a week. At the peak of COVID. We were doing 250 deliveries per week. I think COVID make, we make, make you work so much harder. People can't get out. So if people can't get out, we have to bring it to them. You know, I've been in restaurant business for 20 plus years. It's the next thing to do it on your own. People have been so helpful. And it was my personal goal to have opened up my own restaurant by the time I turned 40 and I did it. I'm so lucky, like the, how everything turned out and all the support that I have to be able to take care of my mom doing something that I love and get all the love and support that I get. Everything else is extra to me. So Pilot House Digital is a growth company uh, that 
basically works with uh, direct-to-consumer brands and helps them scale their businesses. We feel incredibly lucky to be able to help small businesses grow during these really, really challenging times. Um, and, and we feel very privileged to have benefited uh, during these times when so much business has come online. Uh, so many you know, uh, businesses have had to uh, really enhance their direct-to-consumer strategy, and we've been able to work with them uh, kind of every step of the way to do it. Pilot House's core model is based on alignment so that when the client wins, we win, and our staff also win. That's how we sort of have been able to grow uh, throughout this crisis. The biggest driver for staff growth for us has been able to find so many amazing A players at Camosun, UVic, and through referrals from all of our staff who are continually talking about how great it is to work here. We basically had 10 years of e-commerce growth in the first 10 months of COVID. Because of that, we were able to really uh, grow with this opportunity. By growing our staff to 90, we've also been able to triple our revenues and we're on pace to triple our revenues again in 2021. On behalf of the South Island Prosperity Partnership, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 New Business Award is Dumpling Drop. Congratulations. Well done. Now, this next award is the Business of the Year 1 to 10 Employees Award. This honors a business that demonstrates continual business excellence through positive business growth, exemplary customer service, and embraces an outstanding commitment to quality. The finalists for the Business of the Year 1 to 10 Employees are Vancouver Island South Film and Media Commission and Modern. Our physical offices are temporarily closed due to COVID. However, we are open for business and we are out working in our community to bring jobs and economic development to the CRD. Your call is important to us, so please leave a message after the tone. The Film Commission connects productions with more than 2,000 creative professionals in our region and assists those getting started in the industry. Thanks to our resilient crew and strict COVID protocols, we're on the front lines of economic recovery. If you have film experience, add your resume to our crew database and help bring more film jobs in 2021. And I'm here at beautiful Hatley Castle, just one of the many locations in our huge database that helped us land over 20 productions last year, resulting in over 50 million in direct spend. Please help us land more productions by registering your property as a film location. We also work to connect local businesses with the film industry. As a nonprofit, we depend on corporate partnerships through our sponsorship program. Thank you to all the local businesses that support us to attract productions to the region. We provide is a fully branded uh, mobile ordering solution for restaurants and businesses of all sizes from full-scale enterprise down to smaller independent operations. Really it's about your brand, your font, your logo. Um, so protecting your brand and, uh, and helping restaurants create more profit and also uh, customer loyalty. Our goal is to increase efficiencies and um, generate new ways of uh, uh, profiting of uh, revenue, of loyalty through technology so that the brand grows in the eye of, of the consumer. The online ordering solutions, they're really here to stay now. Everyone's had the uh, opportunity to, to place an order. The whole online ordering industry uh, pre-COVID literally leapfrogged about three years ahead of itself from where we were previously. And so our team was working uh, you know, seven days a week, 16 hour days to make sure that we could get these restaurants up and running within a five day time frame. It was a beautiful thing to have the whole team committed to serving our merchants and helping the industry. This opened the doors to, to new ways, new things and, and, and bigger things all across North America. On behalf of the City of Victoria, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Business of the Year Award 1 to 10 Employees is Modern. Congratulations. Who will win Outstanding Employer of the Year? Find out when we return. At South Island Prosperity Partnership, we are economy builders. We work with business, government, First Nation and community partners because we're stronger together. We attract major employers and quality jobs so our kids can grow here and stay here. We champion opportunities like the Coast Ocean Hub and the Indigenous Prosperity Centre. And we're spearheading the region's economic recovery plan. Please join us in building a strong, sustainable and inclusive economy. 
We are at Loverug. Dusty is with me. Dusty, tell me about Loverug. Well, we absolutely love to take old rugs, maybe your grandma's rug, and restore it. We do restorative rug washing and make them so beautiful that you fall in love with them all over again. And you also give back to the community in huge ways, including, including to a Habitat for Humanity. We sure We love giving back to the community. We're always looking for ways to give back because we love Victoria. We love our community. I'm Kristen Moffat of Royal Bank Business Financial Services, and we're honored to take part in tonight's celebration. Congratulations to all the finalists for having made such a profound contribution. RBC Business Financial Services is here to support your continued success. I'm Margaret Lucas of Park Retirement Living. We're pleased to be a part of tonight's celebration. We appreciate the chamber support of local entrepreneurs. So from everyone at Park Retirement Living, congratulations. Time to take a look at some of our upside viewer mail. Good idea, Eddie. I got a good one here. Your hot wing clip was so funny. Thanks for being great sports. You bring tears to my eyes, and not in a good way. Hashtag so bad. Hang on. What else we got here? Uh, oh, please cancel the Mutt and Jeff show. It's stupid and obnoxious. I thought you looked awesome in your too tight rider tanks. The upside makes me wish for the time when video had no audio. Hashtag be quiet. Did I get the wrong pile here? What happened? Oh, mine are good. The upside. Brought to you by IBEW. Up next, we will now present the Business of the Year Award for that business between 11 and 39 employees. And as just described, this honors a business that demonstrates continual excellence through positive growth, exemplary customer service, and embraces an outstanding commitment to quality. The finalists for the Business of the Year, 11 to 39 employees, are Tutti Delivery and Orca Masonry. So we're a residential slash commercial masonry company. We offer a top quality service to members of our community that require a problem solved or dream fulfilled by extraordinary people. For us, it's, it's all about the culture. Like the reason why I chose Orca as the name is because in the First Nations culture, uh, the Orca is associated with kindness, um, strong family bonds and community, which is exactly what we're trying to build. You know, I'm actually Aboriginal myself and I just wanted to be able to give back. When you choose to do a chimney project with Orca Masonry, you are indirectly supporting Aboriginal youth uh, and care because 1% of all of our chimney sales goes directly towards surrounded by cedars and family services. I think it's all about who you hire, really, and it's, it's really hard to find good people. You know, if you don't love what you do, especially when you're doing such a hard trade, it shows through in your work. For me, I get my creative fix through doing design work. There's something really unique and special about that when you can draw something out and then watch it unfold. That's an energy that's hard to replace with anything else. Tutti is an Italian word that means all together. So with Tutti, we uh, partner with lots of uh, local restaurants, uh, Asian, uh, Korean, or the, uh, burgers, the pizzas, everything on one platform that all people can use. We are local, uh, our merchants are local restaurants, they give us uh, lots of uh, support, and we charge a very low commission and compared to Skip, DoorDash, or any other competitors we have on the market. And when the COVID started, we uh, quickly launched a free delivery program. And we delivered orders to, like, uh, to hospitals, to nurses, to uh, older family homes. Some mom and pop shops, those local restaurants, they can't afford to pay 30%, 35%. And uh, because we help them, they actually help us. They help us to promote the, when the customers go into their stores, they hand out our coupons. They're like, hey, do you want to try out this business? This is a 2D. Hey, they charge a low commission. They have a local customer service. Without those local restaurants help, we wouldn't make it. On behalf of Newport Realty, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Business of the Year Award, Orca Masonry. Congratulations. Hi, it's me again. I'm stepping in in place of Stacy, and you'll see why in just a second. Next, we're gonna present the Business of the Year 40 Plus Employees Award. This honors a business that demonstrates continual business excellence through positive business growth, exemplary customer service, and embraces an outstanding commitment to quality. The finalists for Business of the Year 40 Plus Employees are 
Czech Media Group, and C-SPAN Victoria Shipyards. Well, the, the upside is that. It really is an up uh, distraction from all the negativity and and, uh, and worry, I think, uh, during COVID-19. So that was always the idea behind the upside. We used to run a lot of, you know, videos and people that uh, were at home, you know, recording videos. And we uh, started visiting some, uh, some businesses that were having a hard time. Eventually started working our way up island a little bit and showing off some of the beautiful scenery of Vancouver Island and uh, meeting some pretty nice people. Oh, it's been amazingly rewarding. I mean, the whole thing, being able to help out charities has been amazing, to be able to help out the small businesses, especially the, the mom and pop shops that really needed our support. And the people have this great outlook and uh, we're all in this together through this pandemic sort of attitude. So that's been pretty refreshing to see. The best part has been the people that we've met. In lots of cases, they have uh, elderly parents or people that are in, in care homes uh, that are watching the show night after night. That's pretty rewarding to know that we've got people out there night after night that are locked in for us uh, solely to see what, <laughs> what we're doing. We are the largest ship repair company on the West Coast. Therefore, our target market is large, complex projects. We do everything from a five-day barge job to a five-year uh, submarine project and everything in between. Safety is absolutely critical to what we do. Part of the ability to do this work is people need to feel comfortable and able to bring up a concern they might have that it could impact their or their co-worker safety. There's no uh, degree of success we could have by doing our work that's worth it if somebody gets hurt. Uh, the team here at Victoria Shipyards, uh, being on an island, we're, we're pretty much family. We have a lot of great uh, tradeswomen and tradesmen on the island that can go home, sleep in their own beds, and have a decent paycheck when they go home. People don't work here to be working in a job, they work here to have a career. We have amazing relationships with our customers, both the Canadian Navy and our commercial customers, and that's why they continue returning. They know that they can count on us and that we will give them that quality product. Hi there, I'm Wendy Pride and on behalf of Char Developments, we are very pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Business of the Year Award, 40 plus employees, it's Czech Media Group. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. We're thrilled. And in what good company we kept in this award nomination as well. But we all at Czech have worked so hard and uh, we are just so honored and thrilled to be the recipients of this award. Thank you. We will now present the Outstanding Workplace of the Year Award. Now, this honor is a business that demonstrates exceptional commitment to its employees through job creation, training and support programs, morale initiatives, recognition and reward programs, employee health and wellness, and professional and personal development. The following finalists for the Outstanding Workplace of the Year Award are Brentwood Bay Resort and Pacific Coast Health Services. Creating an open and inclusive workplace that fosters joy is top of mind for us every day at Brentwood Bay Resort. We recognize that we are all equally significant and deserving of extraordinary experiences. We have made organizational health our number one priority. Our leadership style, our company culture, and the way we resolve conflict are all focused on establishing openness, trust, and continual learning. The COVID-19 pandemic helped us remember what appreciation and gratitude feels like. We believe we have an obligation to our community to be a safe and healthy place to work and visit. The joy we witnessed as staff were able to return to work and guests were able to join us again has been tremendous. During these times, we have an opportunity to remind ourselves what's really important. Human connection, a sense of belonging and feeling like each of us matter. The culture of our organization has made these trying times manageable and even joyful. Pacific Coast Health Services is a home care agency. So what we do is go out in the community and 
We help people in their homes or wherever they happen to live. So if their home is in a facility and they need help or in a hospital setting as well. Pre-COVID, we would do some homemaking and companionship. There's been a lot of changes in the last year that COVID's brought about. Our employees in the field, hands down, are just incredible. When you have supported staff that go out and take care of the clients, the staff are happy and the clients are happy and, and it makes for a much better work environment. A lot of times we have clients that require more than one worker and so they all have to be able to work together and get along. We have to never lose sight that it's our clients that matter, but our workers and employees are our clients too. We treat our clients like we would want our own loved ones treated. Everybody that's here is here because they want to make a difference in people's lives. And we cry for each other when our loved ones are sick or uh, one of us is going through something. It really is a family feeling. On behalf of the RailMax Group of Companies, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Outstanding Workplace of the Year Award is Brentwood Bay Resort. Congratulations. The Governor's Award of Distinction is up next when we return. Building communities is what Napit Projects is all about. I'm John Napit, President. We're a leading supplier of construction services on Vancouver Island. All the businesses celebrated this evening are also part of building our community, providing products, services, and employment right here in our own neighborhoods. Congratulations to all the finalists for your fine efforts. Napit Projects salute you all. Hi, I'm Jack Leung of Royal Bank Commercial Financial Services. On behalf of all our clients and staff, we want to congratulate tonight's award finalists. Thank you to the community for your continued support of local businesses we look forward to seeing you in person soon. Hi there, I'm Caitlin McKenzie of Monk Office. Today we celebrate the continued success of local businesses. On behalf of Monk Office, I want to congratulate all of the award finalists and winners, and thank you to everyone for continuing to support local. Hi, I'm Caitlin McNeil of Big Will Burger. The perfect burger has the right balance of toppings, bun, and protein. The Victoria Chamber of Commerce brings the right balance of support and services to the business community in our city. Tonight, we celebrate the excellence of entrepreneurs right here in our hometown. On behalf of our staff and amazing customers, I want to congratulate all the winners and finalists. And thank you to everyone in our community for continued support of local business. I'm Nigel Brown from Rafael and Brown Window Covering Center. We congratulate all of tonight's finalists on their successes. As a proud 30-year member of the Chamber, we appreciate their continued advocacy and support of our local business community. Hi, I'm Veronica Carroll with Children's Health Foundation. A healthy economy is vital as we strive to provide access to health care for island kids. Tonight, we celebrate the success of local businesses. Congratulations to all nominees. Now is the time to double down. Travelers will no longer be permitted to cross the border. The vast majority of transmission of this virus is being in close contact with others. How you doing? You hanging in there? You ready for a refill? Okay, well, run and do that. I'm going to carry on. You won't want to miss this though, so don't go anywhere for too long because this is the Innovation Award. And this honors a business that has developed an original product or service with a high degree of originality and creativity to realize innovation. Now the following finalists for the Innovation Award are Rockland Scientific Inc. and Starfish Medical. Rockland Scientific is a uh, company that makes oceanographic research equipment to study turbulence in, in the water and uh, that has to do uh, with processes that are related to climate change. Now, innovation is really at the, at the core of what we're doing. Our technology is uh, based on a, uh, a specific uh, type of sensor that measures really that is in touch with, uh, with the water. And from that motion, we can say how much energy is dissipated in the water. The instruments that our customers use to do the measurements that they need for their research, 30, 40 years ago, that was a discipline that was only available to very specific research teams. For us, the challenge was to make the technology uh, more reliable so that it's available for a larger audience. 
we're not just selling a piece of equipment to a scientist. Our success only ends when, uh, when the scientist actually has written his research and published his research. And then when we see our name you know, associated with uh, these cutting edge research papers, uh, that's a great satisfaction for, for us and for the whole team. Starfish Medical, it's a medical device design development agency. We develop medical devices for companies, both startups and established all across North America. Uh, it could be x-ray, it could be ultrasound, dialysis. So like everybody, COVID had a massive effect on the business, though the effect it had on ours was a little different. So how COVID was different for us, we got asked by the Prime Minister to develop a ventilator in very short order to fill a need that was perceived to be happening where there weren't going to be enough in the country. The, the suitability for the pandemic was the fact that we could get it developed quickly. Typically, uh, developing a new ventilator is something you spend three years on. Everybody at Starfish that needed to put down tools and focused on this one project. At one peak, we had 106 people working on the project to create the device that eventually we were able to manufacture and deliver to, to Canada. So it's now sitting in the national stockpile, uh, ready for use uh, if required. Innovating is that that's that's what gets us up in the morning. The idea of we're going to be uh, tackling a problem that's never been tackled before. It's the solving the, the tricky problems is what we enjoy and is a great feature of uh, work at Starfish. Hi, I'm Joanna Tong. On behalf of the Peter Gustafson School of Business, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Innovation Award is Starfish Medical. Congratulations. The Governor's Award of Achievement honors an individual for his or her outstanding leadership and accomplishments over the decades. This year's recipient is Frank Boré. When I first came here, I was a BC Regional Manager for the Earls Group. I ended up buying um, six restaurants from them and I built them up to 10 restaurants and started a program uh, to take people, uh, unemployed people, and place them into tourism jobs. Well over 100,000 placements, so it was quite rewarding. Our history goes back to the late 80s, 1989. Frank was the first employer um, to hire a person with a disability. That was so important. We needed a champion. We needed someone to say, this works, and uh, he was that person. The, the community needs people like Frank. I mean, Frank has so many connections, uh, probably more connections than anybody I know. Frank has been one of these individuals that has always preached about giving back and uh, making you feel really good about the cause and about the people that we were supporting. I think there's uh, a lot of people that say they will do something and then when it comes down to it, perhaps are not as dedicated. Frank is one of those people that uh, if he says he's going to be on a board or a committee, he's there 110%. When I came here 40 years ago, I joined the chamber. I, I have always believed that um, anybody in business needs to be a member of the Chamber of Commerce and contribute. Uh, a lot of people don't realize the benefit you get by engaging with the Chamber of Commerce. And at the end of the day, people like to do business with people that they know. If you're in business and you're not serving on some community, board, I wonder what's wrong with you. <laughs> Victoria is extremely lucky to have somebody like Frank. When you look at his resume, I can go on and on about all the charities that he has been volunteering and he is big on that. He's big on giving back. To have more of those people in Victoria, it just makes us a better and vibrant community. The Times Collins is pleased to announce that Frank Bore is the 2021 Governor's Award of Distinction winner. We congratulate Frank on this honor. Frank, congratulations, and thank you so much for all the work you've done over this past many years. Now, this has been a challenge to achieve uh, in these crazy times we're living in right now. Our next award, the Outstanding Customer Service Award. Now, this honors a business of any size, demonstrating exceptional customer service, and that serves as a role model, mentor, or example of excellence to other businesses, as well as exhibiting a commitment to the community. The finalists for the Outstanding Customer Service Award are Current Taxi and Thrifty Foods. Thrifty 
Foods uh, has been around in the greater Victoria area since 1977 and really has, has built an incredible reputation for great service, great food and a really fun engaging environment. In March 2020 when COVID hit, it turned the whole world upside down. Uh, we realized very early on that safety was going to be the new form of customer service. For the first time ever, carts are sanitized. All of our full service cases have plexiglass on them. There's arrows throughout the whole store to support customers in navigating properly. There is enhanced cleaning protocols. Our desire was always to make it more and more intimate and really create that emotional connection. Now that emotional connection has really been created through safety protocols. The logo of Thrifty Foods is the smile. Even though we're all wearing masks, I'm a true believer that above the mask, the smile actually resonates in the eyes of all of our team members uh, in terms of what they're doing to support our customers with respect to all the safety protocols. Current Taxi is British Columbia's only all-electric taxi fleet. Myself and my three business partners, we started Current Taxi four years ago to introduce a fundamentally different kind of taxi service for British Columbia. The environmental aspect of our business is obvious to most, but what doesn't really get to most people until they arrive with us is the, is the focus that we put on customer service. We have three pillars that we stand by, we built the company on, those being people, sustainability, and luxury, and people being at the forefront. Everyone's hired locally, they work locally, they live here, they work here. COVID presented significant challenges. Like very early into the pandemic, our ridership disappeared but we still had cars on the road. We still wanted to be visual. So we went and offered free transportation to all doctors and nurses going to and from the hospital. We want to be a part of this community. So we went and said, well, how can we give back? If it's giving rides to heroes going to and from the hospital, then that's what we're going to do. We start with service. We pack everything on from there. But most people come to work for us because they know we're environmental and they want to be a part of something good. The environmental aspect is very easy for us to manage. I can buy electric cars, but I can't buy a smile from the driver. On behalf of Innovate Digital Solutions Inc., we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Outstanding Customer Service Award is Current Taxi. Congratulations. Who will win Nonprofit of the Year? Find out next. Closed captioning of the Chamber Awards are brought to you by Park Retirement Living. Retirement Living Redefined. If your business doesn't have a team of digital marketing experts, something awful happens. Nothing at all. So say hello to the team at Keorta, Victoria's all-in-one studio for web and software design, app development, Canadian web hosting, Facebook and Google advertising, SEO, and beautiful modern websites. You might have already seen some of our work because we're trusted by some of Victoria's most successful businesses. Visit Keorta.com and imagine what our team can do for your business. Hi, I'm Wendy Pride of Char Developments. As long-standing developers in the city of Victoria, we're proud to share the Chamber's mission of working together to build good businesses and creating great communities. To all the award winners and nominees, congratulations on your success. Well done. I'm Michael Lane, Community Engagement Manager for WorkBC Victoria, and we're honoured to take part in tonight's celebration. Congratulations to all the finalists for having made such a profound contribution to our community. WorkBC Victoria is here to support your continued success. Building communities is what Napit Projects is all about. I'm John Napit, President. We're a leading supplier of construction services on Vancouver Island. All the businesses celebrated this evening are also part of building our community, providing products, services and employment right here in our own neighbourhoods. Congratulations to all the finalists for your fine efforts. Napit Projects salutes you all. Michael and Julianne are the best of friends until he pops the question. Look, I have to ask you something, something incredibly important okay. to someone else. Uh, hello? Hello. My, my, hello? My best friend's wedding, Sunday at 7. 
now it's time to present the Sustainable Business Practices Award. The Sustainable Business Practices Award honors a business that demonstrates sustainable business practices in their own operations, but also raises environmental awareness and shows leadership and a commitment to sustainable development and energy conservation. The finalists for the Sustainable Business Practices Award are Cascadia Seaweed and Mike Garrick Construction. Cascadia Seaweed, based in Sydney, British Columbia, is growing to be North America's largest ocean cultivator of quality seaweed. We put uh, sustainable farm structures in the water, we seed these structures, we grow seaweed, and then we harvest only what we've planted. There's 630 native species in British Columbia. We leave the natural seaweed that's there to continue to enhance the ecosystem. The one beautiful thing about seaweed cultivation, it's an industry where the more you do it, the better it is for the planet. Whether it's sequestering carbon, whether it's uh, reducing ocean acidification, we strongly believe that growing more seaweed to help Mother Nature accommodate the changing planet is the right way to go for a sustainable future. The uh, seaweed cultivation industry is a burgeoning industry. Folks now talk about the blue economy. And the blue economy means sustainable use of the ocean. We use no irrigation, we use no fertilizer. It's just the sun and what's in the ocean and the rest of it is all natural. Mike Garrett Construction is a local real estate development company. We're on the leading edge in terms of, you know, green initiatives in our buildings, whether it's uh, solar, whether it's uh, energy efficiency, garden plots, and now our new initiative right now is the start of using mass timber as part of our construction. Mass timber is safer. Mass timber is more resilient to earthquakes. Mass timber can be built quicker because a lot of it is produced off site and then delivered to site to be erected. It has a lot of advantages over steel and concrete. We like to be innovative. We like to stand out above other developers. And I think the generations that are coming into the market, sustainability, green is very key to them. And I think that's part of the reason we've been so successful is that the younger people are seeing that we're actually leading in sustainability and green building features. On behalf of Camosun College, we're pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Sustainable Business Practices Award is Cascadia Seaweed. Congratulations. Now it's time for us to honor the Nonprofit Association of the Year. Now this award honors a nonprofit organization and that provides outstanding contributions to our community. The finalists for the Nonprofit Association of the Year award are Our Place Society and Victoria Rainbow Kitchen Society. Our place is a place that uh, we want folk to feel is their place and it's a place for folk in, in Victoria who may not have another place to go. They can come and get three meals a day, uh, have a sense of community, get some help with housing. When COVID hit, uh, we made a decision as an organization to keep as many of our services open as possible. We uh, had to shut our drop-in temporarily, but we continue to provide meals. All our shelters remained open, although with reduced numbers because we had to have physical distancing. All our housing sites remained open, our treatment center. So everything apart from the drop-in here remained open. So the, yeah, I think there was, there was great support from individual citizens, uh, and the government during that time. Uh, one of our values is unconditional love. We all need to know that there's at least one place in the world where we can go and be safe and uh, where we belong. And I think our place provides that in Greater Victoria for those folk. The 
Rainbow Kitchen was founded 11 years ago, and um, it's dedicated teams of volunteers and three full-time staff that have taken us from a, a grassroots organization to now be considered a, a food security hub here in the Capital Regional District. The, the volunteers make sure Rainbow Kitchen keeps going every single day. So we provide 200 meals each week that are packaged and delivered to isolated individuals. When the pandemic started, we had a team of two show up to make sure that I could prepare 200 lunches and make sure that they were served at lunchtime for our guests who are so dependent on it. We are so supported by our community. Great organizations like the Root Cellar and local grocery stores, wholesalers, the farmer's market, and then our community members who donate to us directly and then also bring us their, their canned goods, any excess goods that they think we can take and turn into a lunch or support our community through. It's a beautiful gift to be able to be a part of this organization and watch folks leave every day with goods that they need. The more we can destigmatize a place like the Rainbow Kitchen, the better our community will be in knowing that we have a service here that is open and operational and no questions asked. It's beautiful. On behalf of Children's Health Foundation of Vancouver Island, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Nonprofit Association of the Year Award is Our Place Society. Congratulations. Well done and thank you for all the work you do. Next, we will present the Emerging Business Person of the Year Award. This honors an entrepreneur under the age of 35 who excels in business, exemplifies leadership and entrepreneurial skills, and demonstrates exceptional vision that contributes to business success. The finalists for the Emerging Business Person of the Year Award are Brandon Lauer, the White Hatter Personal Protection Systems, Inc., and Jared Taylor, Brandigenous. Brandigenous is a swag company, so we make custom branded product. During recent times, it's been a lot of PPE and masks and things like that, but in other times, it's more unique things, socks, cutting board with your logo on it. There's a lot of companies that do this, and I had been in this industry before, but then I decided to do it with more of an indigenous twist, I'll call it, a little bit more connection to less waste, and also introducing a little bit more design. We do a couple things. We have in-house artists who we work with, um, and then we also do serve that artist kind of market for people who want to work with us to make pretty much retail products that's high quality. I would say the local business community has been great. I mean, we're a pretty new company still. We're going into our third year. We've had some great support um, through doing masks for Camosun College, City of Victoria. So there's been some great local uh, support for us during this pandemic. The best part of the job, I think, is when I get to slap that sticker on it, we put stickers on things that say, hey, this is made by an Indigenous company. I just think that's amazing for people to see that, hey, this is an option out there now. I, I think you're going to see that Indigenous economy in the coming years really explode with into more industries. My name is Brandon Lohr, and I'm the executive manager and instructor here at the White Hatter. We're an internet safety and digital literacy education specialist company. Uh, we work with students, teachers, parents, businesses, on how to stay safe, and all kinds of challenges that can pop on the internet. We saw uh, about maybe five years ago and how uh, live video training was becoming super more predominant. And we decided about two and a half-ish, three years ago to really start building uh, a space where we can do live broadcast. In the last uh, year and a half or so, we've transitioned everything to being virtual. We're actually reaching more families, more students than ever before. And you know, we're actually having uh, schools who have brought us in in person they prefer our online digital training because you can do things with technology and green screens that you just can't do face to face definitely when when covid happened there were challenges and we weren't completely ready to go business all hands on but we were pretty close and here we are today and uh, we're proud of what we've been able to accomplish on behalf of Royal Roads University, we are pleased to announce that the winner of the 2021 Emerging Business Person of the Year Award is Brandon Lohr, the White Hatter. Congratulations. Who will take home Business Person of the Year? Find out next. I'm Love Dodd of Dodd's Furniture. We're proud members of the Victoria Chamber of Commerce and all the good work they do in support of local business. To all of tonight's finalists, we at Dodd's Furniture congratulate you. I'm John Espley of Connection Skills. As a governor of the Chamber, I can tell you connections I've made through the Chamber Network are some of the most valuable I have. 
Congratulations to all the awards participants, and thanks to Czech TV for supporting this important local event. Hi, I'm Kalen McNeil of Big Wheel Burger. The perfect burger has the right balance of toppings, bun, and protein. The Victoria Chamber of Commerce brings the right balance of support and services to the business community in our city. Tonight, we celebrate the excellence of entrepreneurs right here in our hometown. On behalf of our staff and amazing customers, I want to congratulate all the winners and finalists. And thank you to everyone in our community for continued support of local business. I'm Adrian Lagan, CEO of Coastal Community Credit Union. We value the relationships we have with our members and clients and our community. That's why our involvement with the Chamber is so important to us. Working together, we can accomplish incredible things. Now, to the finalists in this year's awards, outstanding work making it through this past year. Congratulations on a job well done and continued success to you all. The 1990s is going to be a very different sort of decade. The 90s was the beginning of what people believed was going to be a new world order. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. The 90s, Tuesday at 8. Wednesday on Check. These players came to watch talent and to show talent. Uh, 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 uh. But they really came to win the game. Well, sure. I'm right. Do you agree with Danny and Kai? We're going to go with a hard no. It's an all-new Game of Talents, Wednesday at 9. Now we will present the Business Person of the Year Award. This honors a business person who displays sustained and significant commitment to economic prosperity through their business success, demonstrates business leadership and vision, and serves as a positive role model or mentor for other business people in the re region in perhaps a time that's more challenging than any other. The finalist for the Business Person of the Year Award are Ian Tostenson, BC Restaurant and Food Services Association, and Adam and Daisy the Orser Root Cellar Village Green Grocer. The Root Cellar is a green grocer with a local focus. We've been open for 13 years in Victoria and we want to be your destination market for extraordinary food experiences and what an extraordinary food experience is is different to every customer. Knowing the people who grew and made your food is a big part of, of what we do and I think that's really what people find connection with. COVID really brought triumph and tra tragedy I think. We learned what's most important through that time. Uh, deeper connections with, with the people that we work with. So many people rose above and beyond my expectations to make the root cellar happen at that moment. The way we nurtured our team was to understand that we're, we all were navigating this on sort of a, a spectrum between fear and resilience. And it created opportunity for our team to really connect with our consumers in kind of a beautiful way. The dream is that we just continue to build on that. We don't go back. We don't want to go back to how it was before. We want people to be proud to work here and we want people to be proud to shop here. Um, I think it's amazing. Yes, the BCRFA is, is a pivot point right now for industry, it always has been, but in the time of pandemic, it's been incredibly important that we centralize ourselves so that we were able to provide that kind of information to industry and also to government as to what government needed to do to support industry. So, you know, COVID hit, we were just like totally blown away like everybody else. But I remember someone called me and he was a, a small restaurant owner from the Okanagan. He started to cry and he said, what am I gonna do with my staff? And we said, you know what? Let's make sure that three or four years from now, we can look over our shoulders and make sure we did everything possible to get this industry back on its feet in every community. And we, in fact, we took our Facebook page and said open 24 seven to make sure that we were the ultimate resource for restaurants and it worked really well. It's been an absolute privilege. And there's no other way to say it's a privilege to be able to influence the outcome for our businesses, particularly in areas like Victoria and Vancouver, which have been even further hurt by lack of tourism. To be able to find tools uh, with the government and support programs with the government that happened that uh, has allowed them to sort of inch through this and hopefully come out to the side even stronger. On behalf of Canadian Tire, we are pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Business Person of the Year Award is Adam and Daisy Orser. The Root Cellar. Congratulations. 
Stay tuned for our final award of the night, Chamber Member of the Year. I'm Adrian Lagan, CEO of Coastal Community Credit Union. We value the relationships we have with our members and clients and our community. That's why our involvement with the Chamber is so important to us. Working together, we can accomplish incredible things. Now, to the finalists in this year's awards, outstanding work making it through this past year. Congratulations on a job well done and continued success to you all. Hi, I'm Ursul Rayani from Park Pharmacy. We're a proud member of the Chamber and pleased to be part of tonight's award celebration. Congratulations to all the other finalists on their outstanding work. Heart Pharmacy and our entire team wishes everyone all the best. Hi, I'm Steve Welburn with MMP. As accountants and business advisors, we are proud to share the Chamber's mission of working together to build good business and great community. To all of tonight's award winners and nominees, congratulations on your success. Van Al Windows manufactures right here in Victoria, and we've been installing our windows and patio doors across Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands since 1978. Throughout the entire process, we will provide you with excellent service and the highest quality locally made products. From renovations to new construction, Van Al Windows does it all. By staying local, you get the service you deserve and the windows you need from start to finish. Your Island Windows Factory. There are ordinary people on Vancouver Island doing extraordinary things. Watch Check News Sunday for vital people. Be inspired. Brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter. Vital people on Check News Sunday. It is time now, ladies and gentlemen, to present the Chamber Member of the Year Award. This is a big one, of course. The Chamber Member of the Year, honoring an individual who is an advocate for member businesses, is a volunteer, and participates on the Chamber's board or committees, and who helps foster relationships between the Chamber and the community. The Chamber is so very pleased to recognize John Espley as the 2021 Chamber Member of the Year. Let's watch a short video. Well, hey, John Espley, a.k.a. Mountain Man here from Connection Skills. I'm climbing this mountain to raise awareness for the Island Prostate Center. And thanks to the great gear I got from Robinson's Outdoor Store. Both are chamber members, by the way. Wow, this chamber volunteering is hard work. The chamber is kind of like a map. It'll help guide you along your way. And all those connections you make, they're kind of like the waypoints to help you as you move forward. A lot of people think networking is like climbing a tall, scary mountain. But thanks to the chamber, it looks like a small hill and you can reach any height you want. Whew. Now that that's over, why don't we look up the chamber directory for a pub or a restaurant to get warmed up? Hey, anyone know which way is down? Air Canada is pleased to announce that John Espley, Connection Skills, is the 2021 Chamber Member of the Year. We congratulate John on this honour. Thank you for joining us for our 2021 Greater Victoria Business Awards. Yes, these beautiful awards and helping us celebrate the achievements of business in the Capital Region. Thank you for your spirit, your refusal to give into this thing, your resilience and your success. You are so important in helping us on our journey to brighter days ahead and we know they're coming. It has been my great honour to be with you once again tonight. So, cheers and have a wonderful evening. I will read my great literary prose and Ed will mime it for you. There once were two men on TV, a couple of great guys, can't you see? They played funny videos and did nightly upside shows to fill all the viewers with glee. Glee. So tune in to see on Check News a couple of good looking dudes. Sit back in your chair with your feet in the air, 
And the upside will keep you amused. Shakespeare would be proud, my man. Brought to you by IBEW Local 230. Three soldiers, three strangers. Okay, but we split everything three ways. With nothing to lose and everything to find. I re enlisted. You what? You what? The Lucky Ones, Sunday at 9. We are guardians. We begin with breaking news. Absolute insanity. It's a system failure for all of us. That's it for us. Have a great night.